Cricket, cricket, lovely cricket. I'm off to play cricket. I love cricket. The gear's all packed and we're off. I'm in to bat first. Wish me luck, Percy. <coughs> oh, turn on the cassette. Thank you, thank you. Now, where are the stumps? There we are. And so it's Green Claws, the opening batsman in this cricket match. Oh, six runs! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, musical crowd in today. Hello, Claws. Oh, cricket! Wish me luck, Iris. I'm up against an extremely fast bowler. Good luck. I'll keep everything I've got crossed. <laughs> How's that? What? <laughs> your bat hit the stumps, you're out. It's my turn. I don't think so, Iris. Percy the umpire would have said if I was out. Percy? Now, no talking to the batsman, please. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. My mum sent you... Oh, sorry. No talking. Sent me what? These. What's these? Scones. Oh... How kind. Absolute quiet now. Um, just the scones, was it? No, with strawberry jam. Oh, the light's going. It's getting very difficult to see the ball. And a pot of clotted cream. Oh, dear. What a shame. Rain stops play. Nothing for it but to go back to the clubhouse for an early tea. Very early. I've only just had my lunch. Can't we plant one of your fabulous seeds while I work up an appetite? That's a good idea, Iris. Oh, right. Which one shall we choose? Uh, what about this one? It's very mysterious. I wonder what it'll grow into. Oh, you never can tell with my seeds. <laughs> Put it in the pot. Press it down gently. Water it. And put it in the growing place in the riddle tree. And Alma will tell us when it's grown into a plant, won't you, Alma? She said she will. Right, let's go and have tea. Oh, oh I'm hungry as a horse. Why do people say that? I don't know. Maybe you should ask a horse. I will do. Oh, look at this cream. I'm looking, but I'd sooner be tasting. <laughs> I love to ride a horse, but a horse wouldn't be happy in a greenhouse. No. Much too hot. My cousin, Miss Howdy Claus, the famous cowgirl, rides a horse all the time. Did I ever tell you about her, Iris? No, you didn't. Oh, that's a picture of her on a horse over there. Ooh. Once a year in the Wild West, there was a grand race, and Miss Howdy usually won. But this year, at the last minute, old Ma Brown asked if Miss Howdy would deliver a letter. She only had time to take it before, bang, off they went. Miss Howdy raced away, nose to nose with Wild Bill. Yee-haw! We'll wait for you at the winning post! She laughed. In the distance, some smoke signals puffed up into the sky. Well, I'll be, said Miss Howdy. That must be Chief Sitton Bull in trouble. I'll go at once. But it wasn't a smoke signal at all. Only old Gabby, the gold prospector, burning all his last year's socks. He asked if Miss Howdy would deliver a package for him. Of course she would. And she headed the team out to continue the race. Up ahead... The stage bounced and juddered into Red Rock Pass, where Wild Bill lived. And then Miss Howdy could hear a strange thundering noise. She gasped, cattle, a stampede, and there was Wild Bill's wife and baby directly in the path. 
They were in terrible danger. With a wild whoop, Miss Howdy chased madly, twirling her lasso and shouting as loudly as she could to turn the cattle away. At the very last minute, she managed it. They were safe. Wild Bill's wife was so grateful. And then she asked Miss Howdy to deliver a letter. Miss Howdy took it and was gone. She could just see Wild Bill up ahead when scrunch! Her stage hit a big rock and a wheel came off, broken into matchwood. There was no time to lose, so she sat on a rock and whittled a new wheel from a dead tree with a penknife. It was easy. Soon she had the new wheel fitted and was on her way again, getting closer and closer to Wild Bill. Giddy up! yip yay oh she yelled. On the outskirts of town, a cheer went up. Wild Bill had just galloped past the Sundance Saloon, and Miss Howdy thundered along, determined to pass him. Just at that moment, she remembered the letters she'd promised to deliver. Miss Howdy screeched to a halt, gave old Ma Brown's sister her letter, tipped her hat, and off she went again, full speed. Then she took old Gabby's package and stopped just long enough to rush into the store and deliver it. Off she raced again, only one letter left to deliver. She turned her team back and soon she and Wild Bill were racing together towards the tape. With a last terrific effort, Miss Howdy hightailed it through the winning tape. First, by a nose, she had won the cup. Later, when the hullabaloo had died down, Miss Howdy had an idea. She inserted an advertisement in the town paper. Miss Howdy Claus, for fast deliveries, parcels by stagecoach, letters by Pony Express. And that's how my cousin, Miss Howdy Claus, invented the world-famous Pony Express. Ooh, I wouldn't say no to swapping my bike for a horse for a day and being a cowgirl. Cowgirl? A girl that looks after cows. But then what does a cow slip do? Or cow parsley? I think we should find out. Iris, you go out and bring back some cow parsley. Right. I'm off on the cow parsley probe. I'll see you later. Ta-ra. Bye-bye. Oh, I hope Iris knows what cow parsley looks like. Oh, Percy, there's no scones left. Oh, I've just had an idea. We'll play a game of tennis. I know we haven't got a racket, but this magazine will do. And for a ball... A ball of wool. Oh, won't Iris be pleased when she gets back from her cow parsley probe and finds a brand new tennis court? Right, green claws to serve. 